Hi Taurus, it's L here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Thank you for being here, Taurus. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so this week holds the star card. All right, could be dealing with an Aquarius person. Um... The advice is the King of Wands, okay? The outcome is the Sun card. Wow, okay, you got good cards. So it looks like reconciliation could be in the cards for you. Something, we got the Star and the Sun card here. It's like getting on the right path in terms of, um, you know, alignment. What is your life path? What does it look like? Are you on the right path? These cards say yes. Um, Especially in terms of leadership and taking the leadership position. Some of you, if your Taurus is in North Node, you should watch this. This is this looks good because there's alignment. So we're all aspiring to be, you know, to be like our North Node sign. Um, so if your Taurus is in North Node, then this is good um, because it looks like you are in alignment to, you know, ascend, to aspire to uh whatever your north note if it's taurus but anyhow um this week with the star card so there could be large groups of people something about on the internet you could have a large following um this could be friends these could be fans um something about technology and bringing together governing large groups of people it looks like you are the star people are looking up to you or they're looking forward to i don't know if you put something out for the people to the people if it's informative if it's inspirational if it's entertainment people are looking forward to you to for you to do that uh taurus if that is something that you're engaged in um, also, it's a part of your life path. Um, it's a part of you accepting who you are, um, accepting where you're supposed to be. You're in complete alignment. So that's very good. Um, the star cut also could talk about renewal, uh, reconciliation, a revival, healing first, though. So some healing has gone or has gone on or taken place here either for you or another party. Therefore, reconciliation, renewal, revival can happen. The King of Wands here, uh, Taurus. Um, I don't know if you're getting back with somebody, you're meeting up with someone, they're meeting up with you. You guys are uh, coming to some agreement. They feel like you're the one that got away. They want to do something with you, something big, something monumental. Let's move in together, buy a house, cat, dog. I don't know. But they feel like when we get back together, we need to do something. We need to do something to put the stamp, the seal on this. Um, you could feel this way about someone or they could feel this way about you. The King of Wands is the advice. Take the leadership uh, position, the leadership role. Also with the King of Wands, he goes after his heart's desire. So what is in your heart? Again, this also talks about life path here. It's something about life path and what you should be doing, who you should be with. Um, alignment. Uh, the King of Wands... Um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It could be Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, also, it talks about seeing the bigger picture, see the larger scope of things, drilling down on the small things, sweating the small stuff. is not going to get you where you want to be. I heard you can pay somebody for that. Delegate. The, the King of Wands does delegate. He's a great at delegation, getting other people to do, to see, to be over. Um. The King of Wands, again, re really tied to your home. Some of you could be working from home, do work from home, um, or, or you have a very lenient, relaxed schedule. Uh, the King of Wands also, uh, psychic abilities too, like a psychically inclined, able to manifest, has the idea, moves on the idea, doesn't wait, doesn't toil around and, you know, pussyfoot with it. They move, they make actions that, you know, um, this is a very dynamic person. The advice it says that in business, um, there could be some unexpected windfall, unexpected money coming to you, um, unexpected income, uh, good luck is associated with the King of Wands also, especially if you are in business or you want to go into business or the business of yourself, which it could be in your job and your career too. 
It's something about manifestation, power. So if you take the advice of the cards, take the leadership role here, leadership position, put yourself out there, uh, make things happen. Um, look at the larger scope, the bigger picture items. The, look at the big picture. Where Where is this really going? If you don't get too bogged down with sweating the small stuff, then the sun can happen for you, for you. The sun card talks about when you're in complete alignment with the universe. The star card talks about when you're in complete alignment firstly with yourself. You know, because you can't be in alignment with anything else, the universe, another person, a cat or a dog or anything, if you're not in alignment with yourself. So it looks like for you, Taurus, some of you have come into complete alignment with self first, and now you're going to be in alignment with the universe, because that's what the sun card talks about. It also talks about a new person maybe coming into your life, bringing a lot of fulfillment, contentment, happiness, joy. Um, it also talks about just be, having being filled with all of those things by yourself, joy, happiness, contentment, a childlike spirit. Something is renewed in you um, with the sun card here. Um, you're getting a lot of eyes on you, too. You're in the spotlight. Again, something about people looking up to you. People look up to the star, to the stars in the sky at night. People look up to the sun in the daytime. Woo, people watching you at day and night, baby. That's good. Um, you got all eyes on you, you know, you've got all audience, you, you are captivating or something is captivating or you have captivated or something has captivated you something. I don't know. Um, the sun card, very good card. You've got the universe blessing the, of positivity, radiance and light. You're going to have something that you're going to celebrate with, or you're going to, uh, a big accomplishment, um, success, triumph, victory for you um by way of something that you've created maybe something that you communicate to other people um in large groups and mass it could be for entertainment purposes it could be informative it could be whatever i don't know it could be the both but you're going to have something to celebrate with people you actually like you love maybe sibling close relative neighbors Something about wanting to scream it from the mountaintop. I don't know. Something is coming full circle for you to where, you know, um, you thought it would not happen. This is very good. This is very good, uh, Taurus. Uh, congratulations. It looks like you are on your way. Um, if it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. Check me out here live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. Um, you can ask questions. You can come for the collective reading. Thank you, Taurus. Many blessings to you.